Well, there goes the desert tank. Uh, look at the tiny baby. There's a monster in this bucket, boys. Welcome back, guys, to moving part 503, maybe? All I know is that tomorrow is going to be the last day of moving fish tanks, and I am so happy for that to finally be here. But tonight, we're gonna be moving two tanks, two smaller tanks, I'm here by myself. Tomorrow I have help, and we're gonna be moving the 33, the 125, and the pond. So that should be exciting. That should be a full day of work. Um, and tonight might be a full night of work. We'll see what happens. We gotta bag up a lot of fish in preparation for tomorrow, and we also gotta move those two tanks. But look at how empty this space is. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's been a it's been a wild it's been a wild month. But tomorrow when we move these big tanks, I probably won't be filming a lot of it because I just don't want to have to take the extra time to do it. Put that on top of moving them and it's just it's going to take forever and the footage isn't I just know it's not going to be that good. So, let me kind of I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with this tank. Remember the 33, even though it doesn't look very nice right now, it's not the end of the world, I mean it's not that bad. Uh, we wanna preserve the scape in it, I don't wanna take it apart. The 125 is getting totally gutted so we don't have to worry about you know anything special with that. And the pond, I mean, we just drain it down, we take all the plant boxes out of it and it's gonna be hopefully pretty easy to move. I say that now but we'll see tomorrow. But anyway, this tank, because we wanna keep the scape intact, we're tonight gonna get rid of all the fish. Okay, we're gonna bag them up, take them to the new place. I have holding tanks ready for all these cherry barbs. Here's how we're gonna move it, okay? We're not just gonna pick it up from the bottom here, okay? It's rimless, that would be pretty tough to do, especially with all that extra weight. So what we're gonna do is we're going to detach the top part of the stand here. We're gonna leave in the screws that hold the uh, four two by fours together and of course leave this on here, but we're gonna detach it from where it connects to the four by fours. And so then the idea is, is that we have this to grab onto to lift it up. And I think two dudes will be able, will be able to do that pretty easily. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, but let's zoom over here. Look at how fast I'm running, guys. I'm in great shape, man, all this moving. Here's what we're doing tonight. We're moving the desert tank and we're moving the super dark jungle tank. All right, we got a lot of fish to get out of here. Uh, we're not gonna be taking the shrimp out of this tank. I'm hoping that the coolie loaches, wherever they are, will find their way to you know, whatever water level I'm able to keep in this and still move it, and so that way we won't have to worry about them. But if they do decide to come out, I will just try and scoop them out. But I have a feeling they're just gonna be MIA the whole time. So now, as far as taking apart these tanks, I am gonna have to remove um, like a decent amount of the rock out of this tank, okay? Some of the main pieces, just because they're gonna move around in the car when I'm moving them. Um, and I don't wanna stuff this with, uh, where's my bubble wrap? I don't wanna stuff it with my bubble wrap because I think it's just gonna be too heavy too with these rocks. Because there is kind of a lot of substrate here and now that I look at it, I'm kind of thinking, wow, this is gonna be really heavy. I don't know, I don't know if I can do it, but we're gonna try. Now this tank, we are gonna deconstruct it quite a bit. There's a lot of loose lava rock in here. Probably gonna take out most of it, okay? Because we're probably gonna have to take out most of that rock anyway just to get the fish out. So this will have to, um, I don't know. I mean, this might be a complete deconstruct and rebuild, or maybe we just rebuild this tank in a different tank at the new place. But this tank, for sure, we're gonna have a spot for at the new place. Hopefully we can move it all in one piece. Here are my four buckets that we're gonna fill up, you know, most of this scape into, as well as, uh, I guess some of this. I mean, I really, I, I need more buckets. I just, I just realized that, so I might have to go find some more, or go buy some more. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. It's gonna be tough to film, so I don't really know if I'm gonna film that much of it. Maybe, uh, a quick little time lapse -y thing here or there of maybe each one, I don't really know. Or maybe you won't see any of that and you'll just see like, boom, the finished product. Uh, 
I don't know. Well, there goes the desert tank. Uh, drained down super far. This is not an ideal situation. We have shrimp over here. I don't think there's anybody high and dry. There was a couple over here I had to cut out a channel so that they could find their way to some water, but I mean, this is not, this is not ideal <laughs> by any means, but there's no way we could get all of these shrimp out. Guys, there's just no way. So uh, I snagged a couple of the coolie loaches. I know there's still at least one left in here, if not two, but as you can see, there's plenty of water down here. They're probably just under all this pogo stamon, and uh, you know, they'll, they'll be fine, hopefully. Um, I don't think there's any big risk, but I do wanna move as fast as possible here, so I gotta get to this tank, get this one down, get all these fish out. I probably should have done that first before I did this, but I think everything's gonna be okay. We just, uh, I don't wanna load it into the car before we're absolutely ready to, because it could get kinda hot in there. So there is my last guy right there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab him, and we'll check back when this tank is a little bit closer to being done. Oh, this is not, I can't, I, I can't watch. I can't watch, I can't watch myself do this. Wow. I actually, I, actually, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. As you can tell, that's a decent amount to start over with. So we wanna try and save this as much as possible. I think this is the, sort of the main root mass here. We're gonna pull this out, bag it up and then continue pulling out rocks and bagging up fish. Check that out though. Like, uh, there's an arm's worth of <laughs> Japan clover. That's tight, that's tight. Hopefully we can keep this stuff alive. Look at the tiny baby. Guys, there's a bunch of these super small curries in here. Oh, this is so hard to do. Take apart a tank that is just so perfect. A breeding tank, man. Oh, this is so bad. This is too, this is unfortunate, guys, but you know what? We can start over. All right, so here's my three bags. Let's take a look at this one. Look at all those fish. Ziggy's in there. What's up, dude? All right, we'll put, here, we'll put these back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the last few fish out of here, and then we're gonna load up the tanks and hopefully get back to the new place in one piece. There's a monster in this bucket, boys. All right, guys, we're back. I got a lot of work to do, but I managed to get a few of the rainbows from the 125 into this holding tank. So this is, the 38 that we never set up from the old place, and sorry, I don't have a light up here right now. I just have sort of this makeshift cover here. Uh, I gotta do something about that. I wanna get a light on it, but I also don't want them to jump out. So these rainbows are big. They're looking pretty good. There's some of them, they have a little bit of fin damage, um, but that's not a big deal. That'll totally grow back. I think they were getting picked on by the humongous Siamese algae eaters that were in the 125. They don't have to worry about that anymore though. We have a couple of turquoise rainbows in here. We also have the Bozmani, and we have more to come. So tomorrow when we go back for the final day of fish moving, we'll grab the remaining fish and we'll add them in here. And hopefully it's gonna be big enough for them. You know, they're used to a six foot tank going down to a three foot tank. I mean, they're just gonna have to hang in there. Um, for the time being. We of course have the desert tank. I gotta go move that upstairs and start working on that here in just a second. But we also have all the Kurai Tetras. They're gonna make their way into this tank. All right, the old Fortnite tank. Uh, but unfortunately, when I was messing with the filter, I kicked up a bunch of old junk and the water's super cloudy. So I'm gonna kinda do a water change on that. And so you guys will see those fish in another video. We'll get to that later tonight. But before you guys leave, and before we wrap this video up, we gotta put a fish in this 40 gallon tank. And that fish is in this bucket. It's big Teddy Bridgewater, boys. You ready, Teddy?
<laughs> there he is, guys. He's pretty big. Okay, he's not that big. He's still, he's, he's not completely full grown, but he is the biggest fish that I have. Let's grab his lid. We don't want him doing any, anything sneaky. It's been like a year since you guys have seen Teddy and he missed you, okay? Don't worry, he definitely missed you. He, uh, he's checking his reflection out, saying, dang, you look good. Glad I'm out of that bucket. I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you. We got some plans for Teddy, guys, okay? And so hopefully we can start to talk about that soon. I don't wanna have to keep him in this tank for very long, but I don't know. We got a lot of stuff to work out. We got a lot of other fish that we have to take care of and set up good homes for or make sure they find their way to a really good home. So I got a lot of work cut out for me here, guys. I still have more fish I have to put in tanks tonight and uh, it's just, it's been rough, but I feel like I'm getting closer. So tomorrow we're gonna round everything out. We're gonna get the remainder of the tanks over at the old place which is the 125, the 33, and the pond. And then at that point, we'll kind of be done. We'll be ready to start here, and I'm really excited for that. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. We're almost done moving, I swear. Okay, I know I'm torturing a lot of you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video that's not related to moving. And I just gotta say thank you again one more time to everybody who's helping support the channel as of late. It is uh, just helping out a ton. Thank you guys, we will see you in the next one.